Polska mama w USA. Given that my husband, my Nigerian family, a lot of friends are English speaking, I decided that I'm going to be posting in, in English some of the times too. I think I was 18 or 19 when I really started thinking about it seriously, collecting the money. And the more my family was against it, so the more they were teasing me about it, the more I kind of got mm, determined. I'm gonna show you. You know, there's a lot of Polish people in this area, so everybody assumes right away I'm Polish, I must have came here to my family or must have gotten help of some sort. I didn't. I came to take care of American kids. I found a program which was called at that time au pair. I decided to stay with the host family for a year. I had room and board and they were paying me so-called pocket money. I will never forget the amount because even at that time, I quickly realized how little that was. It was mostly experience of going to American college, studying, you know, but because, I mean, you could not survive on $139.05 a week. Ouch! I knew I wanted to stay here and I didn't want to stay illegally. After finishing a pro program and parting ways with my first host family, I found another family and they helped me greatly by um, sponsoring me for school. Then my last family had four kids. Those kids are adults right now. You know, my greatest help, and I'm not ashamed of saying that, was my friend, um, Anna. Anna, banana. If you're watching this, holla. <laughs> so she was my good friend and um, I lived with Anna. We were roommates. So the first three years were very tough and not only financially, but emotionally, being homesick, not really knowing if I'm making the right decision, but it was what made me stronger, what made me independent what made me to rely on myself only and not others. So everything we've accumulated, we, we, we've done it because of prayer, determination, patience, and pinching pennies. You know, it wasn't connections, it wasn't businesses, it wasn't anything else. A little break from my story, I went to the kitchen. I'm gonna strain my kefir. to just address a couple questions and give you a bonus clip. First question was, do I miss Poland? Of course I miss Poland. I try to be there every two years. My kids uh, like going to the camps there. They love visiting their family there, hanging out with the friends they made last year. So, so it's a good experience for us. I especially miss my little Gniezno city. Question number two, would I consider moving back to Poland? And it all depends on circumstances. Something really drastic would have to happen here for us to move. Here we're feeling comfortable here. We like to visit Nigeria and Poland, but this is, this is our home. Another question was, what do I like about US? I like a lot of things. Like I like that people are very friendly, not even knowing you when they pass by and you're jogging or, you know, taking a walk. People are always friendly, say hi, they stop by, especially in your neighborhood, they stop by and do a little chit chat with you. I like the whole credit hour system, the educational system, not like going to classes because Polish system is completely different. So I really enjoyed getting my bachelor's and master's here because I, I really loved the way the classes were scheduled, the way they were presented. And you know, you, you feel like you're learning more hands-on experience other than just strict knowledge from the book. Paul, Paul came to visit me. Mama, 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 Mama 
Hello, hello, yeah. I like that we have bathrooms even in the church, restrooms. We don't have it in Poland. In Poland, you have to pay when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Quickly, what I don't like about US, just a few things. I think the education is overpriced. A lot of people graduating college ending up with the huge loans. Uh, it's really expensive. So I don't like that, and I don't like the medical system is messed up too. I like the level of care, but I think it's way overpriced. That we literally have a amount of money withdrawn from the paycheck to pay for medical, and then we go to the doctors and still pay deductibles and co-pays in some cases they were like isn't that like double billing i hope you guys enjoyed my little question and answers thank you so much and have a great night bye